good day and welcome to today's construction class my name remains uluatumbi blessing olalekon the founder of michael tech all right today we'll be looking at the problem on the screen yeah it's the conversion of orthographic projection to what to isometric projection okay but in this particular problem uh the base of our object is going to be something like a rectangular box all right then sitting right at the top of it is a truncated cylinder a truncated cylinder all right so in several of our videos or few you've actually encountered before yeah we've seen how to draw a cylinder yeah a whole cylinder but when it comes to the truncated cylinder yeah we won't actually apply a uh, principle of isometric uh curve for uh all the parts here okay there are some principles or some techniques which we actually need to actually want to adhere to okay so solving that problem on the screen the very first thing we are actually going to do here is first of all that cylinder sitting at the top of it here so let's project its elevation yeah we start by projecting it towards its elevation okay so right here i'm going to draw a thin horizontal line in that order okay after that i'm going to what uh pick my set square like this okay i'm going to produce what a perpendicular to it in that order okay thin line okay so then picking my compass yeah that's in the top is diameter 30 diameter 70 that will be radius of what radius of 35 so picking my compass measuring length of 35 standing right here i mark this then sitting right here i what i project this circle faintly i project this circle faintly okay projecting that circle faintly i'm going to actually divide uh this circle into eight equal parts as it were so picking my 45 degree set square like this then sitting right here i'm going to what have it this way mark one okay then this other way around with my 45 degree set square i'm having what it this way mark what mark two okay in that order then after that i'm going to uh try and produce a square to it in this order like this okay like this right there and like this extending it to the top right there also i feel to extend this let me extend this one also yeah the top like that right there so this at the bottom right here extending this like this okay so that implies that i'm going to what extend this very well like this okay then in this area i'm going to what, extend it further also like this down there all right so we have it right there so i'm going to just pick this as my words as my base all right picking that as my base so yeah projecting this point aligns right here so i project this area upwards like that okay then this point aligns with this point also so i'm what projecting it towards upwards likewise also so if you look at our uh cylinder on the question right there so truncated this side is mark of what mark of 20 which is that and this side is mark of what mark of 40 yeah 40 which is this so i'm going to what produce the elevation of that truncated cylinder which is this right here okay all right so let me give it number so i'm going to call this area mark zero and this area mark zero complement i'm going to call this edge mark uh one which is this junction right here okay i'm going to call this junction mark what mark one while this one is what mark one complement this will be mark two while this is what mark two complement this will be mark three while this junction is what mark three complement in that order so having done that then let's produce our object let's produce our object so uh preparing my first uh horizontal line right here okay then providing a perpendicular to it in this order i'm going to pick my 
30 degree by 60 degree set square in this order okay i'm going to project this isometrically in that order likewise i'm going to project this also isometrically in this order okay so looking at the problem on the screen making point x as our lowest point picking my compass i measure what 90 this is mark of 90 right here so with my 90 standing here i would i mark okay then i pick what 80 with 80 i stand right here i what i mark all right so the height of that piece yeah that rectangular piece is height of what height of 10 which is this with height of 10 i stand right here i what i mark so having done that i'm going to pick my set square 30 degree set square okay yeah from that junction i would i project like this from this junction also i'm going to what project like this all right so right here i'm going to uh mark of 90 this is it here project it up here okay then right here mark of 80 i'm going to what uh project it upwards also so then from this area with my 30 degree set square i what i draw faintly faintly then from this junction i what i draw so i have my what i have my rectangular base so let me erase the part i don't want i don't actually need this part here so i'm going to what erase it off now looking at the question on the screen from this area down here 40 40. so i'm picking my compass i measure mark of 40 with mark of 40 i stand right here i mark this with the mark of 40 i stand right here i mark what this so having that picking my 30 degree set square okay from this junction right here i draw this way okay with my 30 degree set square okay turn it around from this mark i what i draw it this way all right so yeah the diameter for our truncated cylinder is what diameter 70 that will be radius was 35. so uh with my compass i measure radius 35 which is this with 35 i stand at this junction i strike an arc right here another one right here another one right here then another one right here okay after doing that i'm going to pick my set square like this at point 30 degrees i would i project faintly like that on that axis faintly on this axis likewise okay so turning it this way faintly likewise like this then uh faintly in this order all right so i need to close up this curve like that so next thing is what i'm going to join the longest diagonal as usual for automatic circle problems okay which is right here and from here i what right here here right here then from this junction right here and from this junction right here so the next procedure is to pick my compass and develop the bottom part right so with my compass i stand at this junction right here okay extending my pencil down here which is this i what i draw yeah so let me make it tick once and for all making it tick once and for all okay so likewise standing here but on this area i'm going to what make it fit i'm making it fit on that axis okay so then sitting at this junction extend my compass down here i'm going to what make it tick to this level then what make it fit over there so likewise from this junction also i'm going to what make it tick to this level all right then what make it fit up here so now what's the next procedure so this area will be my last one mark zero this junction is my mark what mark one complement this junction is what mark one this junction is mark work mark two why this junction is what mark two complement this junction is mark what mark three complement mark zero complement and this area is mark what mark three as we have it right here okay i'm going to replicate it here so that is what i'm trying to actually do okay so after doing that the next procedure is 
yeah projecting this up here okay yeah this area up there do you see that okay so this junction up there so i'm projecting mark zero also which is here up there do you see i'm projecting mark one complement up there the mark one itself i'm projecting it with up there you see that so mark three mark three i'm projecting mark three up there mark zero complement up there mark three complement up there then mark two complement this is mark two complement right here so mark two complement this is it here up there also now what is the next thing for me to do the next thing for me to do is this so mark zero this it's here elevation of mark zero this is the height for mark zero you see the height for mark zero so i come this is mark zero right here so i may pick the height of mark zero so i'm going to asterisk it faintly so that's for mark zero so one and one complement on the same plane and this is the height for one and one complement you see that's the height for what sorry this is the height for what one and one complement that's the height for what one one complement this is the height right there so on one complement right here <coughs> on one complement right here what i mark do you see that then on mark one right here see that i what i what i mark so i'm going to asterisk these junctions also so next is what i'm having mark two and two complements and this is the height right there okay so placing it at the base here extending it right here so i have the height now for what mark two and two complements so this is my mark two so i haven't extended from mark two so let me draw for mark two i what i project upwards so for mark two this is for mark two mark two i what i draw okay i what i asterisk it and two complements this is it up there so mark two complement from here i what i draw so this is it asterisk right there okay next is what mark three and three complements so from here to here this is the height there for what three and three complements and this mark three here so placing it at mark three right here i would i strike my arc i asterisk it and this mark three complements standing on mark three complements i would i draw an arc also i would i asterisk it okay then coming down here that's mark what mark zero complement so year to year you see that height that's what mark zero complement so then on my zero complement right here that is my mark zero complement right there i would i strike an arc so this is my arc right here so what's the next procedure the next procedure is to pick my french curve and join each of these points all together okay so right here i'm having this right here okay do you see that all right so that is that right there and right here i'm having what i'm having this okay yeah i think up to this level right here yeah i'm not mistaken okay right there all right and right here i'm having this like this right there okay and right here i'm having what this right here so getting that the next procedure is what pick my uh ruler and what join this area to the base like this then join this area to the base like this and i'm going to what taking out my final products which is this down there okay this right here this right here right and this right here okay this right here joining this joining this joining this and this 
So that is the complete development of that uh, question on the screen. So kindly ensure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and also refer this page to your friends who might be in need of it. My name remains Uluwatumbi Blessing, Olalekon, the founder of Michael Tech. Thank you.